Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on introduction to Unix. Are you recently started working on Unix or you are new to Unix or you are already work on Unix project and you want to learn more about the Unix then you have reached to the correct place and that is nothing but this Unix tutorials. So this is the very first tutorial of the Unix series and in this tutorial we are going to see basic things about the Unix. So what Unix is all about, what are the differences compared to Linux, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages and some other interesting fact, facts about the Unix. So let's start today's tutorial on Unix. We are not going to do any practice session but in the upcoming sessions you will see the so many examples, so many commands and so many features about the Unix. This today's tutorial is mostly targeting about the basic things about Unix. I hope you're, you're going to enjoy this and let's start it. What is Unix? So Unix, Unix is an operating system. So you might aware the other operating such as iOS that is Apple provided operating system or you Windows it's another operating system. You may also learn, might aware about the other operating such as Linux. So Unix is also an operating system on top of which the various programs get executed. These programs can be simple like the calculating two integers records or it could be a complicated which which might be processing the heavy jobs in your enterprise application. So it start from the very simple programming and it can handle the complex operations in your organization also. This is very well known uh, operating system and most of the enterprise uses this uh, operating system for the automation or for the development pur purpose, purposes. So this is a very simple Unix operating system. How it looks like? What is the architecture of the Unix? In upcoming session you will definitely learn in depth knowledge about the Unix architecture but I'll give you some rough idea how it looks like. So the Unix is divided into several parts so you can have the uh, outer core which like deals with the pro protocols such as FTP mail or you might be using DBMS and you might have the application. Inside it has the core called as the shell. So shell is like the programming layer where you can write the program. So you can use several commands such as sh, vi, as or something like that. And within that it has a kernel. So a kernel is the way the connection between your actual hardware and your shell program. So those are the four components. One is outside world that is the protocol. Then your programming shell and then your kernel and then inside your actual hardware. So your operating system definitely need to communicate with the hardware and the way of communication is through the kernel which is very important thing with respect to Unix. So I hope you got rough idea about it. If you want more details you can watch my next tutorial which will tell us the more about the architecture. Then what is the difference between Unix and Linux? If you search on Google you will see this so many answers about these questions. The question is very simple Unix and Linux. Both are the operating system as like Windows and iOS. Sometimes uh, it is called as a Linux is a flavor of Unix or other term Linux is Unix clone. Both the statement, statements are true because the both operating system looks like same and they are the quite similar feature. Sometimes they call it so flavor of other or sometimes it's called as a clone of other. So those, those both go hand in hand and they have their own individual features. Okay. So this is very interesting thing. Um, when you open your Windows application or Windows operating system, you first of all you try to access the internet or you, you try to access the application within the, your Windows operating system. For accessing your application, I would I would say I'm particularly referring your web application or the application which can be executed through the browser. So you might be commonly using Chrome or you might be using 
Mozilla Firefox, you might be using Opera or you might be using another any other uh, browser but there are limited number of usage the reason is the, whenever the, any program is written in languages such as Java, HTML or JSP etc those programs uh, work differently on different browser so there is limit limitation on the browsers where where it is getting executed or where it is getting access but for the Unix n number of browsers available I have just listed here only few like the Chrome, Firefox, Opera, SeaMonkey, Maxon, Vivaldi which is recently added in this uh, Unix bucket, GNU, IceCat, Tor, Pale Moon, Doodle and there are so many. So it supports so many browsers that is one of the good feature of Unix. It, it supports a wide range of the browsers so you can use any of the browser to access or to uh, to test your Unix programming where it is getting used what is the scope of Unix so as I said earlier Unix is very simple and very commonly used operating system in enterprise applications the scope is very wide um, as I said it can be used for minor things such as calculating the simple two numbers like sum of two numbers uh, subtraction of two numbers from that it, it can be used to implement very complex program which can automize your um, existing program nowadays for example if you wrote a program in a Java and you want to automize that for automation purpose the Linux or Unix is used in wide range also for example uh, if, you're, if you have implemented your program in Hadoop right so you, you need the HDFS file uh, uh, like command line operating so which works on the underlying it is working on the Unix so so many interfaces are built on top of Unix which can be used for Hadoop or any uh, operational monitoring suppose you have the uh, uh, let me give the example of application server like WebSphere, WebLogic, JBoss so those servers are nothing but the program those executes on the Unix so whenever you execute any program in Unix it generates lots of files it, it consumes lots of processing power so the monitoring all those logs monitoring all those processing power can be also monitored using this Unix command lines so th the scope is very wide with respect to Unix you can use for s simple programming to the very complex programming how does look like the interface is little uh, I would not say it's user friendly the so interface is little black and white kind of shades it will not have the colorful like the like Chrome browser or you can have the Mozilla browser this um, this browser uh, this interface is a little dull like you'll, you'll see the black and white colors but of course this color can be changed but the color uh, the combination or the, the strength of color or the variation of color is limited so you'll not have that uh, user friendly experience with this interface Unix but uh, even this interface is, um, has not that great features but it is still powerful for executing your program and for display, display, displaying informa important information to you so th this is the way it looks like you when you install your Unix operating system the command line operator will look like this from where you can execute the command uh, which we saw in our architecture diagram then what are the advantages of Unix there are several advantages uh, I'm not talking about the look and full perspective I'm particularly talking about this the usability perspective Unix is multitasking operating system. What does it mean? So you can perform multiple tasks at the same time. You can so it is the same like the other operating system such as iOS or you can consider um, Android OS which is using cell phones or mobile phones or you can consider the Windows operating system. All the operating systems are multitasking. You can do the multiple tasks at the same time. That means this Unix operating system is powerful enough to run the multiple processes at the same time 
which is a big advantage which will help us to optimize the programming the another advantage is the multi users so you can have the you can create multiple users on unix operating system so it's not one user at a time if you're using windows system like windows laptop or windows uh, system when you start your system you you can create a multiple users right you can log in to the same system with the multiple users on the same line unix can also has a multi user uh, capabilities so that on the same machine you can have the multiple user you can have the user specific preferences and uh, you can leverage that benefit also i would also recommend uh, or i would also think the the access control and security is very simple and very easily implemented in unix like you can give the rewrite uh, execute permission to the the creator or to you can give the access to other users or you can define a group and you can give those permission to that given group also so the access control is very very uh, nicely implemented in unix and it is easy to uh, it, it will be easy to use during development time also when you talk about the file system each operating system has a different file system handling structure if you see the iOS, the file system is totally different than Windows. And the same line, Unix also has its own way of handling the file system, which is a very powerful and unified file system in Unix. Uh, you can just access this file with the root uh, directory. You can just access forward slash and give the your directory name and the file name. It will easily accessible. You can access from one Unix system to other Unix system with some uh, simple commands that is also another powerful thing about unix it is also optimized for the programming program development uh, so suppose you want to do the optimization for your current project how complex it would be it is very simple with respect to unix because the unix program makes it's very simplified and it is optimized for the development purpose that is another advantage or the benefit of unix operating system it is also available on wide variety of machines so you can have the any kind of machines you can install the unix so there is a less number of um, challenges compared to other operating system so these are the few benefits and advantages of unix then what are the disadvantages of course every component or everything has the advantage and disadvantage so Unix also is not exception for it. I would not say it has many advantages. It has a very few. I would I would like to list here. The very first is incompatible disk format. So it just has some issues with uh, disk formatting. It also um, ha has a not a good looking interface. So we say it's like traditional command line interface is there, which is not a great for uh, development and user experience perspective in few of the times you will see the challenges while installing software in unix that is because of the software incompatibility which comes with this unix so sometimes you will not able to install all these softwares in your unix environment so these are the few things about the unix i hope this is a very beginning tutorial and you are enjoying this so there are so many Unix tutorials will be coming very soon. So keep watching this space and you can follow my channel. You can subscribe my channel. If you like this video, then do not forget to hit the like button. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time.